Okay, here we are this morning out in the dam. We're actually marking up some fish at the moment. Um, these are just some bait fish coming through on the sounder now. We've got this split screened on the 797. We've got half the screen running on side imaging. That gives us an optimum look at what's going on around and we can see we're marking up some bait fish directly under the boat. So let's see if we can just find a few bass that are hunting those fish and we'll see how we go. You see where there's deeper colours coming through some of these marks here. That means that the fish are actually balling up closer so they're more likely to have predatory fish around the areas where there's deeper colours. These lighter flecks would suggest that there's not any predatory fish around because they're just sort of cruising. Well here we are Sean, here's all that bait fish sitting on the bottom there and these big red arches just here are probably some big bass or yellow belly having a go at them. So I reckon what we do now is get our rods and catch these fish. So that thin line that's just heading down in towards that bait is actually the lure that I've just dropped down. So if you're looking to target fish in a certain depth, you can actually use your sounder to see exactly what depth your lure is. So now what I'm doing is actually jigging that lure in around those bait, try and fool one of those bass that are targeting those fish. What you can do is actually see exactly where your lure is in relation to those fish down there. So if I need to go a bit deeper, I can see that I'm jigging a bit high. So I'm just going to go down a bit deeper. And now I'm right in the middle of that concentration of fish. Yep. Well done, Shawnee. Nice little bass, mate. So we just, ah, oh, there we go. Perfect release. Perfect release for him. So we just marked those bait fish up on the sander. Saw a few red arches behind it, so don't necessarily need to be really big fish to arch up red like that. It's still in 30 foot of water, a fish this size will still show you it's down there. So this is a huge area this, but we found the fish concentrated in one small area. That's why you need a hummingbird and a mincoder on your boat. Let's get him back in the drink. We're out in bright sunlight today, and this colour unit is very easy to read. I'm six foot five, and I'm a couple of metres away from this unit, and I can clearly see what's going on. That's due to the very high resolution 320 by 240 pixel screen, and the bright, high resolution, sunlight viewable colour display. You see the jig head actually just working up and down through the water column. That red line that's jigging up and down is actually my lure. And this is available right through our product range. This is our entry level sounder. You don't need to necessarily go out and buy the most expensive unit on the market. If you just get the right unit, high resolution screen, clearly visible in sun, it'll tell you everything you need to know. All right, we've just been spotting the fish on the sounder here over this flat, and they weren't taking our bigger bait fish profile lures, so I've just thrown out a smaller soft plastic to try and get one in to, in to bite it. And second cast, he's, uh, he's come along and nailed it. Well right done, Timmy. Nice bass. Fish so we, shut down a bit. We saw those fish mm -hmm. holding right down on the bottom, so what I've put on is actually a a little soft plastic lure here with a lead headed jig. I've cast that out, let it sink all the way to the bottom. The sound is showing us the fish are holding in the bottom three or four foot. So I'd only give it about five wines, drop it back to the bottom, five wines, drop it back to the bottom. So by looking at my sounder, I knew where the fish were holding. By keeping your lure in the strike zone, you can get results like this. Let's get him back in the water. So Tim, one of the things we get asked about the most by fish shows when we're doing club talks or at boat shows is fish archers guys come up and say I'm not getting any fish arches there's no fish down there just explain how an arch is formed and maybe go into a little detail on how fish can actually show up on their screen in raw sonar well Sean basically the way a fish arch is formed you've got your transducer beam going down like this as a fish swims through that beam it's further away from the transducer as it goes through the center it's closer to the transducer and out the other side further away giving that raw sonar arch there like that in a perfect world, when a fish swims a constant speed through your beam, you're going to get a nice arch like that. But actually, on the water, it's very rare that you do get those arches. Just say, for example, you're anchored out on a reef like we are here today, throwing a bit of burley in, and you'll get all the fish come and sit under your transducer beam. Your transducer, say if you're in 30 foot of water, is going to go constantly hit the bottom, come back, and scroll across at 30 foot. If there's a fish sitting in that beam, it's going to constantly return off that fish as well. So that fish is going to show up as a straight line across the screen. To get arches, you've either got to be idling over the fish or the fish swim through your transducer.